Hello friends, welcome. I am Krishna Kumar Ji. Today in this video, I will be showing you my 360 degree camera that I am using to shoot the 360 degree videos that you may have seen in my YouTube channel. So it is in right in front of me as you can see this is my 360 degree camera. And uh, it is a product of uh, Xiaomi. It is actually Xiaomi's Mi Sphere 360 degree camera. So friends, uh, this is the box in which it is packed and uh, I bought this camera from uh, gearbus.com and if you want to buy this camera, I will be providing the links in the description section of this video. And out of the box, we are getting this uh, camera, a protective pouch, uh, a mini tripod and also a micro USB charging cable. Now let us have a look at the physical, physical overview of this camera. Uh, as you can see it is having almost a perfect square shape uh, with at uh, this uh, aluminum alloy frame and the front and the back faces are having two lenses uh, which is actually a 190 degree wide angle fisheye lens with the f2.0 aperture it is through these lenses that uh, this camera is taking that uh, 360 degree photo and videos the data from these two lenses are stitched together to take to create the 360 degree content. Now uh, moving to the top side uh, as you can see here it is having three buttons and uh, these three buttons are actually uh, the first button is actually for uh, switching the camera on and off there is a power button next to that there is a small LED notification light and uh, uh, this is the Wi-Fi button to switch on and off the Wi-Fi of this camera and last we have this uh, button which is uh, used for taking photographs there is a shutter button uh, which when pressed take photographs and also you can start video recording also and uh, these two holes here you can see is the two microphones which is used for voice recording <coughs> now moving to the sides this height size is uh, is blank and uh, uh, and this side it is having a flap and inside that uh, you will be seeing a micro usb charging port and a slot for putting your micro SD card. It is recommended to use a high speed micro SD card uh, to uh, get uh, 4K resolution videos without any issues. So that is about the sides and moving to the bottom portion uh, you can see here it is having that tripod hole along with uh, some connection leads which is actually for connecting an invisible uh, selfie stick that we have to buy separately. So that's about the physical overview and also one more thing to say and is that this is having IP this camera is rated IP67 dust and waterproof and the company claims that uh, there, there is no problem if you repeat for 30 minutes uh, underwater for 1 meter depth. So uh, that is about the physical overview. Now going to the uh, specifications uh, it is having that image processor from Amberla it is Amberla H all image processing unit and uh, this uh, I, the image sensor is IMX Sony IMX uh, 206 uh, with the, uh, these two lenses uh, having 190 degree wide angle and uh, an aperture of f2.0. The, the 6 axis gyro stabilization can be split to 3 gyro sensors and 3 accelerometer sensors, uh, which enables it to shoot uh, stabilized videos, uh, stabilized 360 degree videos. Let me connect this uh, tripod to this camera and uh, show how you can take photographs and videos. It is like this, uh, we have to hold this camera and you can place it on the table like this also. So here it looks like if we set up the camera shooting setup will be like this. And uh, now let us switch on the camera and try to, try to connect it to a smartphone and uh, see how the application interface looks like um, before that uh, this camera is having a um, lot of uh, manual control options that you can set uh, using the smartphone application you can control the ISO exposure time um, white balance uh, and uh, some other more options are there you can see in the application itself so it is having that manual control options which we cannot see in uh, these uh, budget oriented cameras budget oriented 360 degree cameras <coughs> so now let us uh, connect this camera to this uh, uh, smartphone so before that we have to switch on the camera by 
pressing this uh, power button here so you can uh, hear the beep sound the camera is now on this is the front side and uh, this is uh, in now it is in the photo mode that is uh, as you can see the led blinking led light notification has uh, turned on and it is in the camera mode uh, photo mode now if we press the uh, power button again for a second and release it will go to uh, video mode now if we press the shutter button it will start recording video uh, so that you can see it, the led notification has turned to red that means it is uh, recording videos now and if we press it again it will go back to uh, it will stop rec recording and now if we press this uh, button again it will go to the photo mode and if you press the shutter button again it has taken the photo so we can do this uh, uh, remotely by using this camera this is using your smartphone connected to this through Wi-Fi so <coughs> if you press this uh, Wi-Fi button here uh, this LED will glow and it indicates that the Wi-Fi is uh, on so now you have to uh, take your smartphone and have to download an application called a uh, MeSphere uh, from Play Store uh, with which you can con control the camera and uh, so let us uh, I have already installed this uh, MeSphere application from Play Store it is uh, already available in Play Store so you can see this is the MeSphere camera application just uh, click on that it will open <coughs> So this is the camera interface. You can see this is uh, already showing some um, videos and photographs that people have already uploaded. Now we have to go to the uh, smartphone Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Wi-Fi network of this camera. As you can see here, it is MJXJ. That is a Wi-Fi of this camera. Tap on that to connect. And the default password is one two three four five six seven and eight. So it is now connected. Now we have to go to the application again and make sure the device is connected. So here we can see the device that are available to connect. If you press this here, it will uh, establish the connection with the application. So now you can see the preview of uh, the site here. <coughs> you can pan around, move up, move down. So it is uh, actually 360 as you can see here. So if you press this uh, shutter button here in the bottom, it will take photos. See, okay. Now if you want to change the mode, just click on the video button here. It will change the video mode as you can see here. The camera also change it to video. <coughs> if you press here, it will start recording video. Pressing it again, it will stop the video recording and save the video in the memory card only. So if you want to get uh, <coughs> the preview of uh, if you want to see the photos and videos you have to go to the gallery and export or download the photos and export the videos to the to your smartphone so let's shoot one more photo and try to download it and see okay now you can see here uh, click on this icon it will take us to the gallery of this camera so you can see the uh, photos and videos inside the sd card so if you want to download uh, a photo click on that app on that it will automatically download and uh, so so it is now downloaded and you can see here pan around and see everything that you want to see here so if you are uh, you can have a manual exposure settings manual ISO all those things by uh, going to the settings here uh, if we go to the camera interface again you can see the settings icon here if you click here you can go to the settings and there you can adjust the resolution white balance exposure compensation um, iso exposure time all those settings are here the preview mode preview, preview mode you can go uh, like a mirror, mirror ball flat little planet a little planet is something quite very funny thing if you want to try that uh, <coughs> it will be very awesome to see and the crystal ball is there panel mode is there so that is uh, about the camera interface of this uh, uh, MeSphere 360. So uh, we can also have the battery level indicator here. So that is very nice to see this uh, application. It is very user friendly and is uh, very easy to use. So that's all about the camera interface. And uh, about this camera, I bought this camera for $185. From, that is uh, around uh, 16,000 Indian rupees from Gearbus.com. 
right now this is not available in india uh, if you want to buy this you may have to you will have to go for uh, banggood or uh, gearburst.com and right now this camera is the best option for uh, 360 degree cameras in the price range of uh, 20000 rupees or uh, 200 dollars Uh, the photo quality is excellent the video quality is uh, also very good uh, compared to other cameras in this price range and about the video quality is uh, it is right now this camera is uh, actually 4k resolution um, so you can capture videos uh, stabilized videos at the 4k resolution and the cam and about the photos the photos are having 24 megapixel which is a very uh, it is uh, it is that is too much good compared to the other cameras which is available right now in the market So this is Xiaomi's. Uh, this is uh, Xiaomi's first uh, 360 degree camera, and they have two more models, uh, uh, which is uh, totally different. Which is one of which is uh, totally different from this one, and the other is uh, uh, same as same in the hardware and specification. Only difference is in the color and some other uh, packagings and all those things. Nothing else is changed. And uh, Xiaomi is releasing a lot of updates for this. the uh, framer updates for this uh, camera so they are getting it more making it more better and better after um, since the first release so <coughs> that is uh, about this my 360 degree camera so friends this is my 360 degree camera uh, that i am using to shoot the 360 degree contents in my youtube channel hope all of you have liked my video if you liked my video please give a thumbs up and press the subscribe button to get subscribe and support me the maximum also don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the latest updates thank you all for watching my videos see you next time